Perfect. Awesome. So today we're going to be looking at the top end of the framework. That is the sports grad framework that I've, we introduced, I think, last webinar or the webinar before that. And that is a framework that um, relates to getting jobs in sport. So the way to get a job in sport, any kind of pathway you go down and the things are involved, um, they all touch this framework and kind of gives you an idea of the things that you that are involved to get to that end goal, which is which is job in sport. So today, um, our session is going to be touching on the hidden job market, which is at the top of the framework and the way you enter down it, as well as touching on your capability and potential. And as we've mentioned in previous sessions, the way that you either win an application or get selected for a job um, just straight off the bat is by having the greatest capability to perform the job or sorry by having the capability to perform the job for one and then having the potential to do it better than anybody else and some of the things that contribute to each of those become really important in in the way that you uh, find experiences for yourself look for new opportunities to get experience uh, sell yourself in applications and today position yourself on LinkedIn and the way you connect with people too so that's what we're going to be talking uh, about today so right now at the, at the moment, one of the problems for, for grads is that they haven't got enough time to create a meaningful network where it becomes impactful to start unlocking the hidden job market. When we talk about the hidden job market, it's you know the people who, um, who have an idea or have an awareness of jobs that aren't on job boards. And they typically live within circles of people who will know each other and know what each other can do and therefore flick jobs between each other or recommend them to each other because they have an understanding of who each other are. For students, when you've just come out of university and you haven't had enough time in the industry to develop those networks, unlocking the hidden job market becomes a harder just purely because you haven't been in it as long. So that's one of the things we'll try and overcome today. One of the other problems that grads face on LinkedIn as well is that when you're trying to reach out to people and connect with people authentically and make a new connection, there is a stigma that is attached to students and graduates that they're all just coming to you for a job. And that is because there are people out there who do it the wrong way. Not this group, we're going to do it the right way. But the wrong way is that, you know, people will just copy and paste messages and put them in people's inboxes saying hello have you got any jobs um, I see it all the time and you know I, I feel frustrated for that person because I can see how they can you know just make a slight tweak and they will start to get a response um, and sometimes I even respond to them saying you know, um, you know if you try this you'll actually get more of a response but if you're going to do that to me and do it to 10 other people you're going to have tough luck so um one of the other outcomes of today is that I'd love to try and remove that stigma by encouraging you guys to start sending more tailored and um, authentic requests to people. Um, and then the third problem people face with LinkedIn is they have no idea what to post to LinkedIn. Um, you know, coming up with new content can be a, a tricky thing and often people will wait till they graduate and they're holding a very pretty certificate in their hand and now they've got a piece of content that they can share. But the reality is that if you want people to know who you are, you've got to be posting regularly so that you start to build up an impression in their mind. And if you're doing that once every three years when you graduate from a new degree, it's going to be tough to do that. So um, we're going to talk about ways you can post to LinkedIn that position yourself as the top available um, graduate talent. Um, before we go on, has anyone here sent, had got an example or an experience in the past where they've been that person who's messaged, messaged someone on LinkedIn and, and not got a response before? I've messaged a few people here and there and got a response, but then it's not gone anywhere after that type thing. Yeah, okay. Um, um, why do you think it didn't lead anywhere? Um, I've I probably sort of had the mindset is that I know they're busy, so I'll sort of leave them, leave it in their the ball in their court to get back to me when they're sort of free. Yeah, and then have them chase them up, and then time's gone on, and just haven't followed it up. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So just just following up became the the blocker. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Anybody else? Well, I've had a mix of 
of both the responses and non response yeah like uh, initially when they accept my request i send them uh, an acknowledgement saying thank you for accepting my request uh, and then they, and then i tell about myself that i am a student at deakin university and doing the sports management and they say that's nice good luck and they send send me a response that's it and to others it's like uh, they just don't reply back yeah yeah for sure um so why why do you think they didn't respond in in those cases where they didn't uh probably but one thing i noticed was some of them don't post regularly on linkedin they are just there for their network yeah so they're perhaps not, they're not as active you know they're not too active on linkedin probably yeah for sure so perhaps talking to to the wrong type of people or the people who are unlikely to to or the people who are harder to form a connection with yeah yeah awesome cool well that, that's a, that's a problem we'll, um overcome today as well um in terms of the outcomes for tonight by the end of the session um i'm going to make sure that everyone know everyone here knows how to present themselves professionally online through their linkedin so they the first impression that people get when they visit your profile is a positive one and one that you know shows that you are you know capable confident um graduate professional who's got the potential to go on to do great things um further to that you know how we can start increasing some of those response rates to the people who you do want to connect with and how you can do that in an authentic way and then again you know how to position yourself using the content that you put out there to position yourself as a top graduate talent in the minds of people who have got those opportunities just kind of sitting in their head they're not on job boards but they exist how can you start to become known for specific line of work so when we talk about uh, presenting yourself professionally here the goal is to again make that a uh, really clear first impression and the reason why you want to present yourself like a professional is because professionals prefer to connect and talk with other professionals so if you come off as a as a student and play into the role of a student and you might have or a graduate or even a job seeker already that kind of creates a bit of a separation between you and the person who you're trying to connect with so one thing to understand is that they don't need to know your your full story you know you might have graduated and you might have you might have an internship at the moment and maybe a casual job doing something unrelated to sport but they don't need to know that you know you're actively looking for full-time jobs in in the sports industry if your profile says that you're interested in a few kind of key things and has got your experience listed then they're going to read it for what it is and and that's the truth where i think people fall short is that fabulous green circle that says you know hashtag #open to work and the number one thing that i kind of recommend people to do on their linkedin profile is is to take that down immediately because that is like a a massive red flag to someone to suggest uh what you're going to ask them about immediately when people message me and they've got that green circle I I already know that they want a job and there's heaps of job hunters out there and you put yourself into the category of everybody else who is looking for a job when you kind of you know when you um you know attach that green circle to yourself. So yes I might be the case but it just again creates that separation between yourself and the people you want to connect to. So you want to so the whole purpose of this is to try and decrease those degrees of separation between the people who you want to know and who you want uh to know you and so we're going to do we're going to do that through an uh these eight kind of this you know checklist of eight items to make sure that your your profile is um is up to date and looking squeaky clean so does anyone want to volunteer their profile to um to uh, as an example to go through these eight